Good morning, everybody. My name's Harold Smith. I'll be guiding your practice this morning. We have a couple announcements. Um, fall teacher training starts in September. It's a great program. I vouch for it fully. 30-day challenge begins, and it's the War of the Roses, which were lowly York battles Lancaster to see how many classes can be taken. And being Team York, we won the last time, and we will win again. And Briella has a musical class on August 8th, 7 to 8.30. It's $25 for all students. If you haven't got a chance to take one of Briella's classes, it's a lot of fun. Let's get started in child's pose. Big toes touch, knees wide apart. Sink your hips back to your heels. The crown of your head, your forehead on the mat. Arms are long in front of you, fingers spread wide. Begin to establish your breath. In yoga, your breath is your connection between your mind and your body. It is a four-part breath. Deep, slow inhale with a pause, and then an even slower exhale with a pause. Deep inhale, fill up completely, pause, then exhale completely. We also do an ajayu breath. It's a breath with force, with purpose. It's a deep breath in through the nose, slowly fill up, pause, and then exhale through your nose with force. It's an audible breath. It's a breath that you share not only with your whole body, but with everybody in the room. It's a loud voice, it's a loud breath, it's kind of like a fogging up a mirror or speaking like Darth Vader. So we'll take a deep inhale, fill up completely, exhale through your nose with force. We can do it louder than that. A deep inhale through the nose, fill up, exhale. One more deep inhale, Exhale completely. On your inhale, come up to tabletop. Stack your shoulders over your elbows, elbows over your wrists. Knees are directly under your hips. Your spine is long. Your crown of your head reaches toward the front of the room. Your chin is tucked. The back of your neck is long. On an exhale, rain your back like an angry Halloween cat. Your gaze goes towards your belly button. On a slow inhale, reverse the pose, push your heart forward, shine your collarbones up, look up. Exhale, cattail. Your gaze goes towards your belly button, really round your back. Inhale, reverse the pose, push your heart forward, look up, shine your collarbones open. Exhale, reverse. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Now come to a flat back, neutral. Take your right arm out in front of you. Thumb points up, your palm is open. Push your right foot behind you. Flex your foot hard. You're going to be uncomfortable, you're going to be unsteady. Bring your hand and your foot back to the mat. Take your left hand out in front of you. Palm faces, thumb is up. Push your left foot behind you. It should be uncomfortable, you should be wobbling. The only way you can ever be comfortable is to be uncomfortable first. Both hands to the mat. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips back for down dog. <clears throat> Slowly pedal your dog out. One breath, one movement, one body. Come back to stillness. Look back at your feet. They should be hip width apart. Your heels should be hidden by the fronts of your ankles. On a deep inhale, come up on your tiptoes. Exhale, sink your heels back. Inhale up on your tiptoes. 
Exhale, sink your heels back. Inhale up to your tiptoes. Exhale back. Walk your feet to your hands. Hang in ragdoll. <clears throat> Softness in your knees. Draw your belly button in as you push your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Let your head hang, hang heavy. Make a box with your hands. Grab opposite elbow with opposite hand. Let your head be heavy down towards the floor. Take a gentle sway to the right. Come back to center. To the left. Back to center. To the right. Back to center. One more time to the left. And let your fingertips come to the mat. Find stillness, softness in your knees. Heel toe your feet together, big toes touch. Roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. Mountain pose, pull your shoulder blades back and together, palms face forward, crown of your head is long. Deep inhale up, exhale bring your hands to heart center and pause. <clears throat> Set an intention for your class, make it a bold powerful statement. I usually can't think of a statement when the teacher tells me so I'm going to give you one. I want you to have grace. Grace with your body, be gracious with your breath, be gracious with your teacher because he will make mistakes. We'll start our practice with one ohm. Deep inhale. Ohm. Release your hands down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Bring your hands on the outsides of your shins. Push in with your hands as you push out with your legs. Crown of your head reaches towards the front of the room. Fold. Halfway lift again, long flat back. Fold. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, both hands to the mat, step back, high plank. You can stay there, you can come to your knees as you go to low plank. Inhale, push forward to up dog. Exhale, roll back down dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, exhale completely, walk your feet to your hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, reach up, look up, interlock your thumbs, point your palms to the ceiling, look up and back. Exhale, fold. Softness in your knees as you fold. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, step or jump. High plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Deep inhale. Exhale completely. Step, jump, or float to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Inhale, reach up, look up, interlock your opposite thumb this time, up and back. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, step or jump, high plank, exhale down to low plank. Inhale to up dog, exhale, roll back down dog. Three breaths. Exhale completely, bend your knees, look forward, jump to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. <clears throat> Big toes touch, sit back in your chair, Ukatasana. Pick your toes up, sit deeper. Draw your belly button to your spine. Look up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, high plank, to low plank, inhale up dog, exhale roll back down dog, 
Right leg steps between your hands for warrior one. Start with your hands on your hips. Look back at your le left foot, bring it out closer to the left side of your mat. You're not on a balance beam. You're more like you're on skis. Bring it out more this way. Deep in your front leg, your knee is over your ankle. Your front foot is pointing to true north. Put your weight in the outside edge of your back foot. Push your left hip forward as you draw your right hip back. Engage your abdominal lock, your Uddiyana Bandhe, and draw your pubic bone to your sternum as you push your tailbone down. Bring your arms out to a W. Shoulder blades together and down your back. Turn your palms in, then take your arms up to the ceiling, biceps by your ears. Go deeper in your front leg. Look up and back, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Left leg steps between your hands for warrior one on the left side. Once again, start with your hands on your hips. Your back foot is flat on the mat, pointing towards the right front corner of the room. Once again, engage your abdominal lock, pull your pubic bone up to your sternum, push your tailbone down as you push your left hip back, right hip forward. Arms come out to a W. Pull your shoulder blades together and down your back. Then turn your palms in. Then take your arms up long. Go deeper in your front leg. Look up, both hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back down dog. Now keep that vi image of that warrior one as we flow. We're gonna go one breath, one movement, one body. Deep inhale, exhale completely. Step, jump, or float to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Big toes touch, sit back in your chair. Ukatasana, one breath up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Hands to the mat, step or jump, high to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Right foot steps between your hands, come through, warrior brown. One breath up, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Left foot steps between your hands. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Three breaths. We are all individual and unique. Our breath is different, our body is different. Don't be concerned if you're not at the same pace as everybody else, or that my cues for breath are a little off from what you're doing. You're your own best teacher, listen to your body. Deep inhale, exhale completely. Step, jump, float, or skip to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Big toes touch, sit back in your chair, ukatasana, one breath up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, step or jump. High plank to low plank. Inhale to up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Right leg steps between your hands, come through, warrior one, one breath up. Hands to the mat, high plank, to low plank, inhale up dog, exhale roll back down dog. Left foot steps between your hands, come through warrior one, one breath up, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank, inhale up dog, exhale roll back down dog. Deep inhale, deep exhale, deep inhale, deep exhale. One more inhale, exhale completely, bend your knees, look forward, float to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Ukatasana, one breath up, exhale, fold. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, step or jump, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog, exhale, roll back, down dog. Right leg steps between your hands, warrior one, one breath up. Hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. <clears throat> Left leg steps between your hands, come through, warrior one, one breath up, look up, hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Three breaths. On an inhale, raise your right foot behind you. Keep your foot flexed, toes point towards the center line. Keep your hip closed. The center line is the line that runs down your body from your nose through your belly button to the floor. It's also true north when our teachers talk about that. Now take your right heel to your left butt, yawn your hips open, right hip over top of your left, equal weight in both hands, look under your left armpit at your right foot, wiggle your toes, and then light as a feather, flip your dog. Both feet land on the mat, right arm reaches towards the bricks, maybe wheel, beautiful, gently come back over to three-legged dog, keep your right foot long, press back to the wall, foot flexed, both feet to the mat, bring them together at the back of your mat. Look at your belly button, slowly roll out the high plank. Plant your right hand, open up the side plank, roll under your, your heels to the right. You're looking towards the chalkboard side. Flex both feet, you can also bring your knee down for modification. Flex your top foot so much that it floats up in the air. Pick your hips up and towards the chalkboard side. Take your gaze up to your hands, sparkle your fingers. Most importantly, smile. Both hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back down dog. Inhale, your left leg behind you. Your foot is flexed. Toes point towards the center line. Take your left heel to your right butt cheek. Open up your hips. Stack your right hip over the left. Your gaze goes under your left shoulder. No. Gaze goes under your right armpit towards your toes. Sparkle your toes. Wiggle them. Then gently flip your dog. If you did wheel on the one side, you have to do it on this side. You have to be balanced. Slowly flip your dog back over. Keep your left leg in the air. Foot is flexed. Bring your foot down. Bring your feet together. Come up on your tiptoes. Look at your belly button and slowly roll out the high plank. Plant your left hand. Right hand goes up. Your feet go to the right, to the, you're looking towards the Africa yellow wall. Flex your top foot so much that it floats up in the air. Bring your hips up and towards the Africa wall. Keep breathing. Got a smile on this side too. Big smile. Both hands to the mat. High plank to low plank. Inhale up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. They weren't the most enthusiastic smiles I've ever seen. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, raise your right leg behind you. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose, round your back like a Halloween cat, shoulders over elbows. Inhale, push back. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose again. Come forward, hover. Inhale, push back. One more time, bring your knee to your nose. Shin is parallel to the floor. Two more breaths. Now gently place your foot between your hands for crescent lunge. Start with your hands on your hips. Bring your left knee down to the mat. Your front knee is bent 90 degrees. Your back foot is more towards the left side of your mat. You're on the ball of your back foot. 
Your heel should be directly over your ball of your back foot. Hands on hips. Engage that abdominal lock again. Pull your belly button up to your sternum. Push your tailbone down. Now energize your back leg. Straighten it. Bring your arms out to a W. Shoulder blades together. Palms face in. Take your hands up to the ceiling. Go deeper in your front leg. Interlock your thumbs. Push your palms up to the ceiling. Look up and back. Hands come to heart center. Pause. Take the crown of your head long to the front of the room, and then you're going to twist to the right. Left elbow outside of your right knee. You are long from the crown of your head to the heel of your back foot. Open your arms. Left hand down, right hand up. Continue to breathe. Deep inhale. Exhale completely, turn fully, and then come up to crescent lunge for one breath. Hands come to heart center, open to warrior two, facing the chalkboards. Your front foot is pointed directly towards the front of the room, true north. Your back foot is parallel with the back of your mat. The heel of your front foot is in line with the arch of your back foot. Turn your palms up, rotate your shoulders up and back, and then flip your palms over. Go deeper, deeper in your front leg. Flip your front palm, reach forward, revolve your warrior. Take your left hand behind your back. Keep both side bodies long. <clears throat> Deeper in your front leg. Beautiful. Now on an inhale, reach back, touch the back wall, straighten your front leg. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Reverse triangle, pull back. And let your arms come out to a T. Back to warrior two legs, deeper this time. Bring your right forearm to your right thigh for side angle. Your left hand comes up, palm faces down. You're reaching to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Your gaze is under your left shoulder. Bring your right hand down to the mat with little tent pole fingers. Take your left hand and reach towards the front of the room. Now take both arms out parallel. Look up and under for two breaths. Both hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Inhale your left leg behind you. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Come forward, round your back like a Halloween cat. Kiss your knee. Inhale, push back. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Give it a good kiss this time. Inhale, push back. Exhale, draw your knee to your nose and hover. Take your shin parallel to the mat. Two more breaths. Gently place the foot between your hands. Crescent lunge. Start with your hands on your hips. Right knee comes down. Make sure you're on the ball of your back foot and the heel is directly over the ball of your foot. Push your, left, push your right hip forward, draw your left hip back. Pubic bone pulls up towards your sternum. Intergage that abdominal lock, push your tailbone down. Now bring your arms out to a W. Really bring your shoulder blades back and together. Palm, palms face in. Take your arms up, go deeper in your lunge. Interlock your opposite thumbs this time, push your palms up to the ceiling, look up and back as you stay deep in your lunge. Bring your hands to heart center, pause, take the crown of your head long to the front of the room and then twist to the left, right elbow outside of your left knee. You are one straight line from the crown of your head to the heel of your back foot. Open your arms, right hand down, left hand up.
Keep breathing. It's a lot easier when we breathe. Come back to Crescent Lounge for one breath. Hands come to heart center, open to warrior two, facing the Africa wall. Set your feet up again, deepen your front leg. You bought that mat, use all of it. Your hips and your shoulders are parallel to the side walls. Flip your front palm, reach forward, revolve your warrior. Left hand up, right hand goes behind your back like you're putting it in your pocket. Stay deep in your lunge, lengthen both sides of your body. Inhale, reach back, touch the back wall, straighten your front leg. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and stretch that body even more. Then release your hands, bring them out to a T. Come back to warrior two legs. Left forearm comes down to your left thigh, right hand comes up and over like you're going to touch where the ceiling and wall meet. Try to stack your right hip over your left. Bring your left hand down to the mat with tent pole fingers. Now bring both arms facing the front of the room for two breaths. Both hands to the mat, high plank to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back down dog. Give me a deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, raise your right leg behind you. Draw your knee to your nose. Push back. This time, bring your right knee to your right armpit, maybe an arm balance. Inhale, push back. This time, take your right knee across to your left armpit. Stay there. Take your left hand up the ceiling. Take your right foot and push it out towards the chalkboard. Draw your right knee in and across. Molly wanted arm balances. Keep your, come back to down dog. We'll do it again. I didn't cue it very good. Inhale your right foot behind you. Exhale, draw your right knee across to your left armpit. And then you're gonna straighten your leg out towards the locker room side or towards the bathroom side. Bring your left hand up to the ceiling, look up. Try to elevate your foot up as you push it towards the chalkboard wall. Smile. It's easier if you smile. Then you're going to bring your right foot back around for three-legged dog, both feet on the mat. I told you I'd make mistakes. Inhale your left foot behind you. Exhale, draw your left knee to your nose. Come forward. Inhale, push back. Left knee to left elbow and arm balance. Beautiful, Molly. Inhale, push back. Now draw your left knee across to your right elbow. Now push your left foot out towards the Africa wall as you take your right hand up. Keep your left foot flexed. Look up. Both hands to the mat, go back to three-legged dog. Bring both feet to the mat. <clears throat> Big inhale, exhale completely. Step jump or float to the head of your mat. Halfway lift, fold. Big toes touch, sit back in your chair, Ukatasana. Exhale, push your hands behind you and sit deeper. Inhale, up. Exhale, back and deeper. Inhale, up. Exhale, back and deeper. Inhale, up. Pause. Bring your hands to heart center, and you're going to twist to the right. Left elbow outside of your right knee. 
Look down at your knees. Your left knee is going to want to cheat forward. Take your hips lower than your heart. Open your arms. Right hand up, left hand down. Keep breathing. Two more breaths. Come back to Ukatasana for one breath and then fold. Step to the middle of your mat. Take your feet hip width apart. Take your two peace fingers, grab your big toes, palms face in. Then you're going to do a halfway lift and then fold, melt down. Your head is heavy, softness in your knees. Release your bind. Take your feet to the edge of your mat. Your right foot points to 2 o'clock. Your left foot points to 10 o'clock. Stand up tall. Bring your hands to heart center. Push your thumb knuckles into your heart. Goddess squat. You're going to sit down with a flat back like you're going down the wall. Put your elbows inside your knees. You can stay here or you can go to crow pose. Crow pose, you're going to plant your hands, keep your knees up on your triceps or in your armpits, and hinge forward. Listen to your body. You're your own best teacher. Crows, you're going to round your back like an angry Halloween cat. Energize that core. Try to bring your feet together behind you. Three more breaths. And at the end of your third breath, shoot back to high plank, to low plank. Everybody meet in down dog. Three breaths. Remember, at any time during class, if you need to reconnect with your breath, you can come to down dog or child's pose. It's yoga practice. It's not yoga perfect. Deep inhale. Exhale completely. Bend your knees. Look forward. Float to the head of your mat. Halfway lift. Fold. Big toes touch. Sit back in your chair, Ukatasana. Bring your hands to heart center. Pause. Twist to the left. Right elbow outside of your left knee. Look down at your knees. Your right knee is going to want to cheat forward. Try to drop your hips lower than your heart. Open your arms. Right hand down, left hand up. Keep your spine long. Two more breaths. Come back to Ukatasana for one breath. Exhale, fold. Step to the middle of your mat. Take your feet hip width apart. Take the palms of your hands and place them under the soles of your feet. Try to walk your toes up into your wrists. Padiastasana, gorilla pose. Let your head hang heavy. Maybe experimenting, putting the weight into the balls of your feet. Maybe raise one heel or two. If you tumble forward, you've succeeded. Now keeping your hands under your feet, walk to the back of your mat. <laughs> I can't either. <laughs> Release your bind. We're going to do a second set of inversions. You can do crow. I'm going to cue basket headstand if anybody wants to do that. But indulge yourself. Basket headstands, you're going to come down on your knees, onto your mat. Bring your forearms down. Hand to elbow. That's the width. Then you're going to take your hands out in front of you. You're going to place the crown of your head where your hairline is in that, if you're going to make a basket with your hands, interlock your fingers, pinky finger on pinky finger, and then draw your knees in, 
Use your core. Push your feet up to the ceiling. Beautiful. Everybody make their way back to child's pose. Reconnect with your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales. <clears throat> <clears throat> on an inhale come up to tabletop exhale push back to down dog walk your feet to your hands hang and rag doll walk your feet together big toes touch and you're going to slowly roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time once again, we're in that Tadasana spine. Bring your shoulder blades together and down. Palms face the front of the room. Crown of your head is long. Inhale your arms up. Eagle pose on the right. You want to take your right arm under your left, right leg over. Sit back like you're sitting in your chair. Your spine is tall like you're against the back wall. Engage your abdominal lock, push your tailbone down, flatten out your lower back. Bring your arms up, release the pose, switch sides. Left arm under, left leg over, sit deep. Your left leg can wrap around or it can be a kickstand. Bring your elbows up, hands away from your face. Release, both hands up, right side eagle again, right arm under, sit deep, right leg over. Push your elbows up, hands away from your face, look up, continue to breathe. The most important thing is smile. Now you're going to unlock your top leg and push it back for airplane with eagle arms. Try to take your hands as far and across the room as you can. Keep your back foot pointed towards the center line, true north. Your hip is closed, foot is flexed. Beautiful adjustments. Now you're going to unlock your hands and you're going to do warrior three. You're going to grab a beach ball in front of you. Flex your back foot, get long. Drop the beach ball, take your hands back to airplane. Your palms face down. Up dog chest. You're flying like you're going over the wall in front of you. Bring your hands to heart center. Pause. Half moon. Take your left hand down, right hand up to the ceiling. Flex your top foot like you're stamping against the wall behind you. Your left hand can come to the block, the mat, your water bottle. Try to stack your right hip over your left. Bring your left hand up to your chest, look up at the ceiling, sparkle your fingers, both hands, both feet to the mat, and fold. Halfway lift, fold again, rise up to standing, left side eagle, left arm under, left leg over. Sit deep, your spine is long, Elbows up, hands away from your face. Keeping your eagle arms, unwind your top leg and push it back for airplane with eagle arms. Try to push your hands across the room as you punch a hole in the back wall with your flexed foot pointed towards the center. Release your arm for warrior three. This time we'll hold a soccer ball. Bring your hands in a little closer. And you're going to drop the soccer ball and go back to airplane. Palms push down as your heart lifts. Collarbones are wide. Back foot is flexed. Bring your hands to heart center. Right hand comes down, half moon. Left hand comes up. Stack your left hip over your right.
Bring your right hand up to your heart. Look up at the ceiling. Sparkle your fingers. Both feet to the mat. Fold. Bring your hands on your hips. Elbows point back. Come up to a halfway lift. And then slowly come all the way up to standing. Ground down in your left foot. Bring your right knee up. Grab your right knee or right toes with your right hand. Then you're going to open your knee to the right. Take your arm, left arm out with your gaze towards the chalkboard. Keep your foot flexed. Try to keep your hips level. Come back to center, switch hands. Right hand goes up and back with your gaze to the back wall. Keep your foot flexed, toes point towards your face. Dancing Shiva. Come back to center, keep your knee in the air. Hands on hips. Push your foot out. Inhale, draw your knee to your chest. Push your foot out. Draw your knee to your chest higher. Push it out again. Take it up four more inches. Both feet to the floor. Hands on hips. Take your opposite leg, left leg up. Grab it with your left hand. Take your leg out towards the chalkboard. Your right arm goes out with your gaze towards the Africa wall. <clears throat> Come back to center, switch hands. Right hand grabs your knee, left hand goes up and back with your gaze towards the back wall. Come back to center, keep your knee up, put your hands on your hips, push your foot out, draw your knee up, exhale out, inhale up, exhale out, inhale up, one more time, out, four inches higher, and bring your both feet to the floor. Wiggle jiggle your hips, step to the front part of your mat, you're going to do dancer's pose or standing bow. Now, nobody has a strap. We'll, we'll all do um, standing bow. Left hand goes up, right hand comes out like you're holding a tray. The soft part of your elbow is going to be facing the yellow wall. Reach down and grab your ankle. Your thumb is going to point up. This way. That gets your shoulder to open. Bring your knees together, hips level, then kick back with your foot as you push your left hand forward. Continue to breathe. Release. Left side. Cartwheel your arms up. Right hand up. Left hand comes back. Go right into the pose. Try to keep your knees together. Hips level. Push forward. Like you're pushing the wall away as your flex foot is pushing the ceiling up. Open your shoulders. Okay, release. We're going to go back to the right side. Left hand up. We're going to do this for eight breaths. When everybody gets up, we count. Right hand comes out. Knees together. Push forward. Release, switch sides. Right hand up, left hand back. Knees together, push forward. Keep breathing. I lost count. Release. Step to the head of your mat. 
Tree pose, ground your left foot down into the mat, right foot comes anywhere but your knee. You can bring it to your shin or your thigh, or you can do lotus. You can bring it up into the crease of your hip. Start with your hands at heart center. Pause. Then find a spot not moving in the front of the room. Open your arms up, grow your tree. Continue to breathe. Slowly take your gaze up the wall towards the ceiling. Open your heart. Look up and back. Bring your hands to heart center. Pause. Bring your knee forward and down. Ground your right foot into the mat. Bring your left foot to your shin or thigh anywhere but your knee. Start with your hands on heart center. Choose a different arm variation this time. Maybe bring your arms out to cactus arms. Bring your shoulder blades together. Look up. Slowly walk your eyes up the ceiling and back. Look up and back. Hands come forward. Knee comes forward and down. Step to the front of your mat. Place your hands over your heart. Close your eyes, reconnect with your breath. Slowly open your eyes, gently drop your hands down. Inhale up, exhale fold. Halfway lift, step or jump, high plank to low plank. Inhale up dog, exhale roll back down dog. Step your right hand, your right foot between your hands for warrior one. Hands come to heart center, open to warrior two, facing the chalkboards. Flip your front palm, reach forward, revolve your warrior, take your left hand behind you. Deep inhale, reach back, touch the back wall, straighten your front leg. Come back to warrior two arms, keep your front leg straight. You're going to reach as far forward as you can and you're going to come down to triangle. You can bring your fingers on the inside or outside of your front foot. Ten pull your fingers if they come down. They're just there as a suggestion. Left hand up, look up and back. Keep breathing. Using your core, come back to standing with straight legs, arms to a T. Both feet turn to face the chalkboard. Pigeon toe your feet in. Hands on hips. Look up and back. Open your heart. Inner gauge your core. And then you're going to hinge forward with a flat back. Then drop your hands to the mat. If headstand is in your practice, go ahead. If it's not, take your right hand and grab the outside of your left foot. Softness in your knees. Come back to center. Left hand on the outside of your right foot or ankle or shin. Come back to center. Right hand on left foot. Back to center, left hand on right foot, headstands make your way down, come back to center, put your hands on your hips, halfway lift to a long flat back, and then come up to standing. Turn all ten toes to face the front of the room, you're in a mini warrior one stance, your heel both heels are on the mat. <clears throat> Push your right hip back, left hip forward. Take your left hand up to the ceiling, and then you're going to reach for the front wall, keep your spine long, and then you're going to let your left hand drop down. Take your right hand out to the side for a twisted triangle. 
look up. You can stay here, or you can look down at your right foot, left your left, let your left foot float up for twisted half moon. Flex your top foot hard, dial it towards the center line. Release, bring your feet to the floor. Mm. Halfway lift, <coughs> fold. Hands to the mat, step or jump, high plank <coughs> to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll back, down dog. Raise your left leg, no, no I'm, another mistake. Put your left foot between your hands for warrior one. Inhale, up. Hands come to heart center, open to warrior two, facing the yellow wall. Flip your front palm, reach forward, revolve your warrior back. Stay deep in that front leg. Inhale, reach back, touch the back wall, straighten your front leg. Arms come out to a T. Keeping a straight leg, you're gonna reach far forward and then come down to triangle. Left hand comes down to the floor, the block, or the mat. Your right hand goes up. Using your core, come back up to standing, arms out to a T, both legs are still straight. Turn all 10 toes to face the yellow wall. Pigeon toe your feet in. Take a different arm variation this time. And then hinge forward from your hips. Softness in your knees. Hands on your hips, halfway lift. Come all the way up to standing. Turn all 10 toes to face the front of the room. You're in a baby warrior one stance. Start with your hands on your hips. Push your left hip back as you push your right hip forward. Draw your abdominal lock in. Bring your right arm up. Reach to the front of the room and then fold forward. Keep a flat back. Left hand comes out, palm is down, twisted, tri twisted reverse triangle. You can stay here or you can go to twisted half moon. Look down at your left foot, push forward, your right foot lifts like it's magic. Palm, your foot is flexed. Left hand starts to go up towards the ceiling. Bless you. Release, both feet to the mat, hang. Halfway lift, hands to the mat, step or jump, high plank, lower all the way down. Take your arms out by your sides, palm face down, big toes touch, locust pose. You're gonna be long, your forehead is on the mat to start with. You're gonna be long like somebody's pulling you from two directions. Draw your pubic bone up and then fly. Release. Now take your arms out long in front of you. Super person pose. Inhale up. Now roll to your right side. Come back to center. Roll to the left. Back to center. Release, reach back and grab your outsides of your ankles for floor bow. Flex your feet, try to bring your knees as close together as you can. On an inhale, you're gonna push your feet back and rise up. Flex your feet hard, draw your shoulder blades back. Release and come down. 
One more with conviction this time. Inhale up, flex your feet, push them back. Beautiful. Release your feet, let them go side to side. Bring your hands at your lowest ribs. Tops of your feet are flat on the mat. Push up for up dog. Make it your best up dog you've ever done. Shine your collarbones open, your heart is open. Exhale, push back down dog. Make your way through to a seated position. Dandasana, shoulders directly over your hips, legs out long in front of you. Feet are flexed, toes point towards your face. Sit up tall, bring your arms out. And then you're gonna roll on your back, one vertebrae at a time, as slow as you can. Now draw your knees in, bridge pose. Your feet are flat, hip width apart. We're gonna do one bridge and two wheels, or you can do three bridges. Bridge, you're gonna raise your low, low back up first, then your mid back. Intertwine your hands together, walk your shoulders underneath, push your hands down towards your heels. You're like a sliding board. Release your bind, come down, let your legs go left and right one time. And now we're gonna do wheel. If wheel is not in your practice, do bridge. Inhale up, take your hands up behind your head, fingertips point towards your shoulder. Inhale up. If you're in bridge, take your right knee and bring it into your chest and then push it up to the ceiling. Knee back to your chest, to the floor. Left knee out into your chest. Push it up to the ceiling, back to your chest, foot down, tuck your chin, come down. Legs go side to side one time, resist the urge to pull them in. Inhale up again for wheel for eight breaths. Inhale up. Tuck your chin, come down. Supta Baddha Kavasana, bring the soles of your feet together. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your stomach. Draw your knees in, grab the outsides of your feet for happy baby. Little semicircles, left and right on your sacrum. Come back to center, let go of your feet, keep your knees bent, put your hands behind your neck, push your left leg out long, you're going to take your left leg, yeah, bring your left elbow to your right knee for bicycles, your breath, your movement, inhale up, two, Three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. How many should we do, Molly? 50. Good. I lost count. 26, 27, 28, 
29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Hug your knees in, wrap your hands around your shins, give them a big hug. That was beautiful. Now rock back and forth three times. Massage your back and then make your way to down dog. <clears throat> Inhale your right leg behind you. Keep your foot flexed. And then you're going to take your right foot and put it on the outside of your right hand. Your shoulder is on the inside of your knee. You're in a low lunge. You can stay here or you can come down to your forearms. You can bring your left knee down. Take your right foot out to 2 o'clock and then look underneath of it like there's a piece of gum under it. Take your right hand and put it on your right thigh, not your knee, on your thigh. You turn your heart up and look up. Now if this is not doing enough for you, you can take your right hand back and grab your left toes. Release your right foot, let it gently come down, and then you're going to walk your right foot across and bring your right knee to your right wrist for half pigeon. Straighten your left leg out, come up on the balls of your feet, take it out to the left edge of your mat. Sit up tall first, then flatten out your back foot and fold forward. Breathe. You might need to put a block under your hip to get them square. Deep, long inhales, slow, steady exhales. Couple more breaths. Breathe to where the discomfort is. Place your palms on your mat and slowly you're going to take your right leg back for three-legged dog or whatever movement you want to get life back in your hip and then gently place it on the floor. Lift your left leg behind you. Your foot is flexed pointing towards the center line. You're going to bring your left foot on the outside of your left hand. Your left shoulder is inside of your left knee. You can stay here or you can come down on your forearms. You can bring your right knee to the mat. If you're a runner, you probably don't like this. Turn your left foot out to 2 o'clock. Look underneath of it. Put your left hand on your left thigh and roll it out as you look up towards the heaters at this end of the room. Reach back with your left hand and grab your right foot. Shine your heart open. Look up. Gently. 
gently release your foot. Come back on your hands. Walk your left foot across. Left knee at your left wrist. Come on the balls of your right foot. Take it out to the right side of your mat first. And then sit up tall. And then slowly melt forward. One, one side is going to be a lot different than the other. Breathe. The most important thing in these hip poses is to breathe and to last through the discomfort. Just a few more breaths. Make your breath long and deep. Breathe to where the discomfort is. Slowly draw your hands in. Push yourself up. And then push your left leg back. Do whatever movements you need. Wiggle, jiggle, stamp your foot, smile. Then bring both feet to the mat. You can step or jump through to a seated position. Legs out long in front of you. Your feet are flexed. Try to have your big toe mounds touch, the arch bone of your feet touch, and the ankle bone. That will really rotate your thighs in. Sit up tall. Arms go up. And then hinge forward. Take your hands on the outsides of your feet. If you're really flexible, put a block there in front of it. And let your spine melt forward. Bring your forehead down and rest it on your shins. Release your hands, sit up tall, and then roll onto your back. Take your feet up to the ceiling for waterfall pose. You can place a block under your sacrum, but flex your feet. Try to bring your big toe mounds together, the arches of your feet. Your feet are flexed. You can stay here, or you can go to plow pose. Plow pose, you will take your feet back long overhead and touch them on the floor behind you. Plows go to shoulder stand. Walk your hands up your back. Pinkies touch on your lowest back. Elbows come in as close together as they can. And then push your feet up the ceiling. Flex your feet hard. And find some stillness. Plows, um, shoulder stands go to plow. Plows go to deaf man's pose. Let your knees come around your ears. Then take your hands long on the mat behind you, keeping your knees as close to your chest as you can. Roll out on a flat back. Draw your knees in. Take eagle legs, put your right leg over your left. Arms come out to a T. Let your knees go to the left. Your gaze is to the left. Your gaze is to the right. One of them. Come back to center. Switch legs. Your gaze goes to the left, your knees go to the right. 
Come back to center. Give your knees one final squeeze. And then it'll let your legs go long on the mat. They fall open to the sides. Palms face down, face up for Shavasana. There's a cold eye towel at the head of your mat. Deep inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the nose. Deep inhale through the nose. Deep exhale through the mouth. Deep inhale through the mouth. Deep exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the mouth. Resume your normal relaxed breathing. Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Gentle movements in your fingers and your toes. Flex your wrists and your ankles. Take your arms long overhead. Stretch your body long and tall. Then draw your knees into your chest and roll onto your right side. Place your forehead on your mat Gently push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Shoulders directly over hips. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll close our practice with three rolling ohms. These are as unique as you are, unique as your breath. So wherever your starts and finishes is perfect. Deep inhale. Oh. I have to tell you, I've failed ohms in teacher training, so. <laughs> Bring your hands to your forehead. 
The light in me honors to and shines to the light in you. Namaste. Now, I also forgot to thank Chris for being a wonderful assistant. Thank you, sir. Thank you much. The first one's the hardest one, right? <laughs>